my colleagues who do T1 work, and I do the T2 and T3, that they actually don't really think of me as a scientist. Um, so I think the, the dichotomy between scientists, the T1 and T, uh, T3 uh, scientists, and then scientists and engineers is kind of the, the same. So, you know, basically, you know, mad scientists are really not scientists, they're actually engineers, because they really don't have a control group uh, of, the, of the people that they want to, you know, take over the world. Actually, my daughter actually gave me those two, so I have some. <laughs> All right, so, um, so let, let me talk a little bit about so where I've come with, with, with the uh, alcohol problems and, and the, the hazardous drinking in the past to go over some of my prior work. And I always like to show this slide because um, well, I've always been interested in a subset of, of drinking problems which uh, has been loosely described hazardous drinking um, or maybe problem drinking. And, without really sort of going through some of the specific layers here, because some people have cut this very differently. This is sort of the way I've always cut it. Um, but, you know, the DSM uh, recognizes alcohol abuse and dependence um, as sort of, the, sort of a, a very severe, uh, severe uh, form of um, alcohol use disorders. But in primary care, this is who I see mostly. I see a lot of people that don't drink. I see a lot of people who drink and they don't really meet this criteria, but they actually drink at a level that actually puts them at risk for perhaps getting here, or actually more importantly to me, uh, puts them at, at risk for other health problems, uh, liver problems, dyspepsia, um, elevating their blood pressure, interactions with their medications, things that, you know, on a day-to-day -day level are actually um, things that I deal with. Uh, I'm really interest, interested in this because I want to refer patients to it, but this is really what I deal with. The harmful drinking, the difference between harmful and, and hazardous drinking, hazardous is sort of puts you at risk. Harmful, you're really sort of starting to do things that are um, kind of subclinical sometimes that are actually ca causing you some harm. So, so for example, uh, if you looked at your liver function tests, you know, they, they'd be somewhat elevated. So, and you may not know it, but it's actually already causing you harm and you just don't, uh, don't realize it. Um, the obligatory uh, slide is that, you know, what's the impact of